Hey guys, this is the Nerf Review of the uh, Ball Blaster. Uh, I'm not sure what the actual name for this is, but I think that it might be the reactor. Uh, no promises though, don't hold me to my word on that, as I like to say. Um, it fires out these green uh, little balls, and they're called ballistic balls. And um, the, it's uh, basically shot by just holding the handles and pumping it back and forth five to six times until one of them shoots out, and then this is just repeated. And then I'm um, uh, also right, uh, like when you push them in, uh, you just have to shove them in through there. Uh, this can hold five to six in it. And um, uh, we actually got this used at a garage sale for free. We've had really good luck with Nerf guns at garage sales this past summer. And but um, um like when we tried it earlier today, like we would pump it and pump pump it, and we couldn't get it to shoot. And so um, uh, what we did is this rubber piece right here is what helps to hold the balls in. Um, uh, uh, we dremeled that down a little bit so that they would actually shoot out. And so, um, uh, there isn't much to say about this gun, actually, just, you know, use two handles. And, uh, I'm going to be doing a quick firing test. Alright, so, um, I will be firing this down there towards the telescope in my room. Currently, we are in Stuart's room. Um, all the way down there. It's probably actually about 30 feet. Don't hold me to my word about that, but if I had to guess, it would be 30 feet because um, in my other videos, um, I know that the radar shoots farther than 25 feet, and I've been saying like 20, 25 feet, but it's around 30 feet. All right, um, let's shoot. <laughs> Whoa. All right, so. Um, as you can see, I want to find there. Over there. Another one right here. And there. that one right there. Um, then there's a couple more to shoot them, but uh, as you can tell, this is very hard to aim. Oh, I was just confused there for a second. Um, so, uh, you can get these in the five pack for around five dollars, I believe. Yeah. Squish them before you put them in the gun. Yeah, I would squish them before you put them in the gun. Yeah. And after you put them in, if they don't shoot, don't panic. Just dremel this out. And yeah. um, I don't think you can get this edition anymore, but I do think that there's like a new edition of it. Mm -hmm. uh, the other thing that I wanted to say was that the ranges vary because simply because like how hard you pump it and stuff. Uh, but this would be best used as like a grenade launcher. You know, like you can hold it like this doing this until it'll launch or not at your enemy's base. Um, the ranges though were like around 15 feet that time, like the two that actually went into my room, like like when I like when it actually shot good. So um, it's hard to aim, kind of hard to pump. I wouldn't recommend this for a small uh, child, but um, I would say maybe ages um, about 10 and up or so. Also, um, this thing, these balls are actually. I mean, you, you know, they're foam, but... They hurt. They, they'd hurt if you get shot with one, so I wouldn't aim for your head. That's why you should use them as a grenade. And so, um, just one more time for happy ending. I'm just going to shoot it again. Alright, so that's the end of the uh, Ballistic Ball Blaster review. And, um, uh, sayonara.